This past week, state finance officials presented Governor Mike Beebe's balanced budget for the next two fiscal years to lawmakers, and they predicted a recovery from the disaster of the last two years' recession. For the current fiscal year, finance officials expect Arkansas's net revenues to rise 3.6% from last year to around $4.5 billion. Forecasters project a 2.8% increase in revenues in the next fiscal year and a 5.3% increase in the following budget cycle. Now, Governor Beebe proposed an additional half-cent cut to the reduced state grocery tax for next year. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle embraced the food tax cut. They also advocated a look at additional tax cuts and reform in areas such as the used car tax, corporate and personal income taxes, and the capital gains tax. But with looming needs in prisons, human services, education, and debt to the federal government for an unemployment trust fund, there's not a lot of room for major tax cuts. I caught up with Representative Kathy Webb, co-chair of the coming year's powerful Joint Budget Committee, to find out where her priorities are for a balanced state budget. All right, Representative Webb, let's talk about the governor's balanced budget proposal, which he made public this week. About $4.6 billion. Now, he does want to do another uh, half-cent cut to the grocery tax to kind of keep that momentum going. What was your reaction to the overall budget? I think the overall budget was pretty much what we expected. Um, Needless to say, there's a lot of discussion about the grocery tax. I think people are generally inclined to find some places that we can cut taxes, but I think the debate's going to be what it is that uh, that we are able to pass. Were there any concerns for you in this budget proposal? I know the, the governor addressed this bubbling prison overpopulation problem to a degree. Uh, we've got Medicaid challenges that are out there, and then K-12 through education is always going to be a concern. Do you think that he's been a little too conservative in that budget? No, I really don't. I mean, we feel pretty good about the funding for education. Um, I, I am concerned about Medicaid. I'm concerned about uh, corrections and highways are becoming, of course, a great concern, and that's something that's of concern to uh, Speaker Designate Moore. Um, what we've done over the last few years in corrections is put some supplementals in to take care of reimbursement to the counties, but that's a band aid. I think it's something that we're going to have to take a real hard look at. We need a long term fix and not just another band aid on corrections. So that, that's a major area of concern. Lots of talk from not only Republicans, but Democrats, too, about other potential tax cuts beyond the grocery tax, uh, the used car tax, capital gains tax, some other corporate and personal tax cuts. There's really there's not going to be enough to go around for everyone. No, there's not going to be enough. And, you know, that's one of the good things about the Arkansas legislature, because we've always worked in a bipartisan manner. And I expect that we're going to have some really good policy debates about uh, where we're going to cut taxes. I know that there were folks very interested last time in a capital gains tax cut, but when you look at it, Arkansas has one of the most generous capital gains tax cuts in the country. I think we're like third. And then there are folks who are also very concerned about targeted uh, tax cuts for uh, lower economic families and uh, lower middle class economic families. And there are folks who believe very strongly that those kind of targeted tax cuts Uh, would do better for Arkansans overall than a capital gains uh, tax cut. So it'll be an interesting debate. So are you going to be pushing for any particular direction on that, or do you think it's just kind of best to let that debate be pretty robust, talk about all those subject matters? I mean, at some point in time, you guys have to focus. We do have to focus. But, you know, last time uh, we didn't have as much debate on some of those tax issues as I think we could have. Uh, there are all kinds of tax exemptions out there that I, th- that I think we need to take a look at, like a lot of states do. You know, a lot of states go back every few years and look at, at what the tax exemptions are. I mean, you know, I'm a small business owner, so I'm you know very interested in this issue. I've had to make a payroll 26 times a year for the last 15 years. Uh, but I think that if we don't talk about some targeted tax cuts for lower economic families that will be doing a disservice to all the citizens of Arkansas. Also, as a small business owner, you're aware that there is a major liability to the federal government in our unemployment trust fund at the state level. That was not addressed in the governor's budget um, because it's a bit of an off-book liability. But is there any discussion going on about how we get a grip on that? I mean, what's approaching $400 million by some estimates? Well, there has been a lot of discussion on that, and I think it's, I don't know, I think it's about $340 million, and of course, 
Uh, we're supposed to start paying the interest back on that in January of next year, but there are about 35 states in the same boat that we're in, and so there's a lot of uncertainty about that right now because there's a uh, feeling still that Congress could come back and, and do something to push that back. Um, we're actually only liable for the interest starting in January. Um, and we have a group in Arkansas that meets that's composed of the Chamber of Commerce and different groups representing labor that will come and bring us a proposal. So while we're very interested and we're following it quite closely, uh, right now we're still waiting to see what that group brings to us, um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Do you see any way that there might just be an ostrich mentality? I mean, everybody just sticks their heads in the sand, or, or do you think this is going to get addressed in the next session? Uh, I hope that there's not an ostrich mentality, you know, and that's one good thing, again, going back to what I said earlier about uh, the way we operate in a bipartisan manner here, we've got some serious issues, and, you know, right now we're okay on Medicaid, but by 2013 we're not going to be, and I think if we stick our uh, head in the sands on that or on highways or corrections or this unemployment, um, you know, we'll, we'll be doing a long-term disservice to the state, and I think the lawmakers are very serious about not wanting to do that. I sense too, Representative Webb, that there is little to no appetite for raising taxes, particularly business taxes, and especially in light of the election outcomes from November 2nd. But do you really think that we can just cut waste, fraud, abuse out of the system to kind of find these types of savings that people are going to need to address some of the issues that you've brought up? I think there are potential areas for savings, and I think um, we've demonstrated that over the last few years. If you look at the DHS budget over the last, um, you know, eight to ten years, the client load has increased by, I think, something like 65 percent, but their budget has increased only a very small percent, I think something like six percent. And one of the things that they've gone to is a more automated system, and more and more of the clients use online uh, services, and that's even clients who are low income, who go to libraries and use those services, use computers there, and there are potential savings throughout state government in uh, being more efficient, and I think that's something that folks on either side of the aisle are committed to. Well, let's talk about what type of leadership you're going to bring to the Joint Budget Committee this year. Are you going to be scribbling out notes in the margins, or how are you going to be operating this committee? What's going to be your primary focus? Well, my primary focus is going to be, I guess I'd say two primary focus, uh, focal points. One, uh, to work very closely with Gilbert Baker from the Senate. He was chair last time, and I worked closely with Gilbert and uh, Representative Malik uh, on joint budget last time since I was co-vice chair. And again, as a small business owner, I take a conservative look at the budget. I look for greater efficiencies. Um, and, and I would like to see some tax cuts in there, but I also want to make sure that we don't take away any services that the most vulnerable populations of Arkansas, of Arkansans need. All right. Anything else you plan on bringing to the forefront in this next legislative session? I'll give you an open-ended question. Uh, and thank you for that. Um, you know, I've worked with Speaker Designate Moore over the last 18 months to uh, help him and his campaign to become the next speaker. And I'll be focusing a lot more of my efforts this time on the budget and pretty much following uh, the lead of Speaker Moore. He's very interested in economic development, uh, education, especially in terms of entrepreneurial type programs, uh, state water plan, uh, corrections, and I'm going to be following uh, Speaker Designate Moore's lead. All right, one final question for you. I'm sure you're all getting this question. Uh, the, the final margins between Democrats and Republicans in the House of Representatives in particular is much smaller than it's ever been in the past. What's your sense in talking to some of your incoming colleagues on both sides of the aisle as to, to how that may impact relations in the House this session? I think Arkansas um, has historically had a legislature that wanted to work together, whether you were a Democrat or a Republican. And if you look at a lot of the bills over the last few years, you'll see Democrats and Republicans signing on as sponsors of each other's bills. Um, I've already talked to a lot of the incoming Republicans, and we've talked about how we can work together. And I think what I've always liked to focus on since I was elected to the legislature is how we can work together. And I think that's going to be uh, something that we continue to focus on as we move into this session.